objects can be carried in this kind of flowing water. They can act as battering rams and enhance the damage. But let's go even above that. Nine feet of storm surge. This kind of storm surge is not survivable unless you move to the higher floors of whatever structure you happen to be in. So please follow the advice of the local officials and evacuate as ordered when a hurricane moves in. Just incredible, uh, Greg Postel. Excellent explanation there. And talk to the folks that are in New Bern, North Carolina, if you don't believe what, me, what 10 foot of storm surge can do. And don't forget, uh, we're going to have winds that are much, much stronger in some of these areas that are going to get maximum surge. All right, new this morning. Kelly Cass, take it away. All right, we had a very busy day yesterday, Jim, when it comes to severe weather, another important and destructive event that we need to talk about in the central U.S. Survey teams from the National Weather Service will fan out today across the middle of the country. As many as 20 suspected tornadoes left damage in five states Tuesday. New this morning, Governor Mary Fallon has put all 77 of Oklahoma's counties under a state of emergency. We're showing you uh, the storage unit here, and you can see some of the doors have been uh, compromised. Metal doors peeled up like pop-top cans. Hulking trees uprooted, even splintered. Others knocked onto homes, roofs ripped open, others missing. Utility poles twisted, a laundry list of the wreckage left behind in central Oklahoma Tuesday. A half dozen or more tornadoes swarmed the state. One tore into a farm. See that green baler there with that black pickup? I'm told that, believe it or not, there was an entire barn that was over that. It has been completely blown off. Straight line winds or a tornado roughed up cars outside of J.C. Penney in Midwest City. We appeared to have a downburst or something that uh, twisted up a couple of cars and put them into the front of the building. The scene outside the store stunned shoppers. Severe weather in Oklahoma, part of a tornado outbreak that stretched from Texas to Iowa. Shoppers and store workers shaken. I was inside the store, yes, and I was in the back and I just heard like rain and it sounded like hell. And I came up here to the front and they were stacked on top of each other. Now, it was quite a Tuesday for Oklahoma. Tornadoes, rain, flooding, a few snowflakes in the panhandle, as well as two small earthquakes, all in one state in one day. And as I mentioned, they'll investigate that damage to determine exactly what kind of tornado, how long was it on the ground. But there were 20 reports across five states, stretching from Texas on up into Iowa. And you can see all the moisture showing up on the water vapor. That orange color, by the way, is the drier air coming in behind the system. And this same system, by the way, it's related to Michael. It's actually going to help steer Michael, eventually picking it up and turning it rapidly toward the northeast upon landfall here in the Florida panhandle. All right, Steph, uh, pressure. It's really dropped quite a bit. I'm really worried about the next advisor, what the winds are going to show. Yeah, I know. With that, so when the pressure drops, that means the winds are going to intensify. And right now, uh, this we the forecast is for this to come in with winds at 145 miles an hour. It's a very strong Category Four. It's not only those winds, but winds of a tornado. We now have a tornado watch that is going to last until five o'clock Eastern Time, four o'clock Central Time. And where I am in Port St. Joe, we're basically right on that border of Eastern and Central Time. This is a storm within itself. Just the winds and the surge associated with it. It's extraordinarily dangerous. Dangerous. Then with the tornado factor on top of it, it just takes it to another level. So let's talk about those tornadoes. A Torcon of four, Florida, uh, Georgia, also into southern South Carolina. That means there's a 40 percent chance of seeing a tornado in a 50 mile radius. Why is it that right front quadrant? Well, first of all, you have the bands coming over the smooth water, hitting the land. OK, so there's some friction at the ground. That's going to slow some things down at the ground. Then at mid levels, you have winds coming in from a different direction. So that's going to give a little bit of spin here in the atmosphere. So there is that threat for severe weather anywhere from South Carolina, Georgia into Florida for today. But then the system's racing off to the north and the east. And so there is tomorrow that threat yet again. And it's going to be into the Carolinas and also into Georgia. Torcons of four here for eastern uh, Carolinas and southern Georgia. So again, what are tropical tornadoes like? A lot of times you can't see them because there's rain. Um, a lot of times they're very quick, you know, and they hit and they go down and come back up. Uh, it's not like these massive wedge tornadoes that you see in the plains, but you know, they're going to be a little bit smaller in size on average. So these are something that, you know, you always have to look for, Jim, when we are talking about hurricane landfalls. We had them in Florence. I've been, of course, the most prolific tornado maker with over 100 tornadoes.
Yeah. The, the last thing we need, Steph, honestly, with what we have going on right now is, is a tornado. But, but it is a real threat, as we've been mentioning, with the tornado watch that goes out until 5 o'clock tonight. Uh, and we'll talk about why one side of a hurricane certainly is more prone to tornadoes than others coming up, uh, as well as inland areas. Now that you've got a lowering pressure, will we, in fact, have a wind that's stronger than 145 miles per hour? The hurricane hunters are out there measuring that. All right. When is this thing going to start to turn to the right? It is still moving north at 13 miles an hour. That is another thing that we'll be watching for you. The good news is we've got many meteorologists, not only on the coast, but also inland to cover Michael for you at landfall, during landfall, after landfall. Stay with us. If you have psoriasis, little things can be a big deal. That's why there's Otesla. Otesla is not a cream. It's a pill that treats moderate to severe plaque psoriasis differently. With Otesla, 75% clearer skin is achievable. Don't use if you're allergic to Otesla. It may cause severe diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting. Otesla is associated with an increased risk of depression. Tell your doctor if you have a history of depression or suicidal thoughts or if these feelings develop. Some people taking Otesla reported weight loss. Your doctor should monitor your weight and may stop treatment. Upper respiratory tract infection and headache may occur. Tell your doctor about your medicines and if you're pregnant or planning to be. Otesla, show more of you. Periodontex, the toothpaste that helps prevent bleeding gums. See a little blood when you brush or floss? You may have gum disease and could be on a journey to much worse. Help stop the journey of gum disease. Try Periodontax toothpaste. It's three times more effective at removing plaque, the main cause of bleeding gums. Leave bleeding gums behind with Periodontax toothpaste. Identity thieves know if your social security number is on the dark web. Do you? Find out with Experian. Go to Experian.com slash protect for a dark web scan. It's completely free, so visit Experian.com slash protect today. Fall is a great time to take trips in your vehicle. Some are more memorable than others. And because life is sometimes messy, we've got you covered. With laser-measured floor liners, seat protectors, and our full line of automotive protection products to help keep your vehicle looking its best. Order at weathertech.com. Weather and we'll floor you. We'll floor you with our selection of Karistan carpeting. We'll floor you with our low prices. We'll floor you with our professional installation. Here at We'll Floor You, we take our name literally. We'll Floor You with our wide selection of Karistan luxury carpet, offering maximum durability and ease of care. Visit the We'll Floor You family in Jupiter and Star and let us floor you. Dear Pat, you have left an important impression on my wife and I. You are an honest businessman who's not out to pick our pockets. Thank you for your immediate service and fairness. Are you tired of being sold something every time you call your AC company? At North County Cooling, our people are not paid by commission and you will never be pressured to buy anything. You have my word on it. Please give us a call. If this is the kind of service you want from your air conditioning company, call North County Cooling today. For imprint, for certain. Every season, every storm, every time you watch, Trust in the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 80 degrees with showers. Today, thunderstorms likely. High, 90. Chance of rain, 80%.
tonight. Partly cloudy skies early will give way to cloudy skies later at night. Low 78. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Thursday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High 90. Chance of rain 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. And good morning, everyone. The Michael again on final approach to the Florida Panhandle. Over the next six to 10 hours, it's going to get real interesting around here. It's already been interesting in places like Tampa. We've had some of the outer rain bands affecting them uh, with heavy showers and thunderstorms there. We've also had water rise in Tampa Bay as a result of the storm surge. And even though we don't expect the center to come anywhere near Tampa, there are still impacts well outside the center. And that's why we always talk about the when you see the red cone, all that is is a track cone. That's where the center could go. But the impacts are far reaching outside that cone. And that's a great example of that you saw there in Tampa. Uh, folks, again, if you're just joining us this morning, Michael has a pressure of 937 millibars. It is a Category 4 hurricane. It's trying to become a 5. 937 millibars, if it landfalls with that pressure or something lower, would be the lowest pressure ever in October with a landfalling tropical system. That's where we are with this. That's where we are with this. All right. With low pressure comes big wind. Let's talk about Panama City where I am right now because right now it looks like the center could come very close to us. I said yesterday morning we're going to be within 30 miles of the center. Well, we could be within three miles of the center if the latest track is right. Today, again, through Wednesday, 50, uh, through, through, you know, about lunchtime, we're talking about winds that will be gradually increasing to 50 plus miles an hour. Could we get over 100? Yes, especially in that eye wall that has 140 mile per hour winds right now. Do we have, in fact, uh, the chance to get into that? Yes, afternoon time today we do. Uh, surge up to nine feet, maybe higher if the storm moves just to the west of where I am right now. It could be up to 10 or even 12 feet. And that is a problem, a big problem. All right, let me show you this wind energy because the new threat, certainly uh, now that you don't have a Category 2 landfall, you have a Category 4 plus landfalling, is the wind damage. The damage potential is exponential in relation to the category. So you don't just go up a category or you don't just go up 20 miles per hour in the wind. You go up exponentially in terms of the damage potential, all right? And as you can see, I'm going to walk over to this graphic because we're so tight on it. You know, you're looking at 116 miles an hour. 116 miles per hour. Some of these new buildings have hurricane force winds, uh, or not hurricane force, but they have hurricane resistant windows that could withstand some of that. But look at that wind core going even well inland, all the way into Georgia, where we could have winds gusting well over 75 miles per hour. So Steph, as you know, a lot of high rises uh, in and around where I am in Panama City. The higher up you go, the stronger the wind. It may be cat four at the ground, but we could have cat five winds at 10 stories high. Over to you. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, Jim. And now, as you come towards me, I'm about 30, 40 miles from Jim to the east. Then you go a little bit farther to the east. That's Apalachicola. They are prone to surge. And we are already actually seeing some water start to rush over here. Uh, winds also picking up. We gusted to 40 miles an hour in Apalachicola. And again, this is just going to get worse before it gets better. Let's talk more about that pressure that Jim was mentioning. The fact that we're down to 937 millibars. Uh, Hazel. The last October landfall in Category 4 back in 1954 had a pressure of 938. Are we going to beat Hazel? I hope not because that, that's de it's devastating as it is already. It's just going to make it even worse. So as that pressure goes down, Jim was mentioning the winds are going to go up, and you can see that. It's linear. So it goes down, and then the winds are going to go up. Our winds right now, 140 miles an hour. Will it get to that 145 before landfall? Right now, that's the forecast. It is moving north at 13 miles an hour. You're going to see wobbles to the left, wobbles to the right. That's what happens, and it eventually is going to take that right-hand turn. And when it does that, it is not only going to cause significant damage, structural damage, and surge, but power outages. Now, this is a wide-reaching system. I don't want everyone to focus in on that you know, center point, which is very important for those that will be in that center point. But the hurricane-force winds extend out over 40 miles. Tropical storm-force winds extend out. Uh, almost 200 miles. So 
That means that a lot of us are going to be affected. I know everyone's boarded up. Now's the time to get to the shelter last minute or just stay where you are. So winds, they're going to start to deteriorate through the day. That's going to pick up. It's going to be worse. The worst winds are in that eye wall. But the good news with this relative to like Florence, this is going to blast on through. All right. So it is going to blast on through. And we do have uh, that forecast bringing some showers and storms to the coast. All right. Let's go to Jim now to talk about our other, uh, you know, characteristic, the rainfall. Jim, much different than what we saw in Florence with this system. Much different. Yeah. Isn't that amazing, Steph? Florence on top of the list was rainfall. OK, we knew that as, as it weakened coming on shore. So now rainfall's at the bottom of the list with Michael because of the fact that this is going to be such a powerful hurricane on landfall uh, and also create a tremendous storm surge component. But let's talk about this. All right, guys, if you remember back in 1995, we had a little hurricane out here in the northeastern Gulf called Hurricane Opal. And one of the things I remember distinctly about Opal was the lightning in the eye. It was almost a Cat 5, all right? It weakened before landfall, but boy, does that look familiar. Talk about deja vu. Holy smoke. All right, let's talk about this, guys. Rain bands coming in. Uh, this storm may slow a little bit. It's forward speed, which may be an indication that it's going to start to make that turn to the right. We need to watch that. But either way, as the rain bands come in, the rain's going to pile up. You can see the most likely areas of flooding, pretty much where we're bringing the center and the most concentrated area of the bands. It's about 100 miles wide. And this comes right up 95 and 85 uh, as we go on in time. Again, this won't cause too many more problems in the area where Florence hit, but it may cause problems down south. We'll be right back. Our craftsmen begin each day perfectly seasoning our Hillshire Farm smoked sausage. So by simply adding the right ingredients, you can end each day crafting a perfectly delicious dinner. To err is human. To anticipate is Lexus. Experience the Lexus RX with advanced safety. Standard. Experience amazing. 652 hours of live TV. 32 days out in the elements and one legendary field test. We got a good old fashioned blizzard here. We challenge the Weather Channel to put our squall parka through winter's worst and use their feedback to make it more functional, comfortable, and winterproof than ever before. The new squall parka, field tested by the Weather Channel, made even better by Land's End. Guaranteed, period. AT&T provides edge-to-edge -edge intelligence, covering virtually every part of your healthcare business, so that if she has a heart problem and the staff needs to know, they will. And they'll drop everything. Can you take a look at her vitals? And share the data with other specialists. Yeah, I'm looking at them now. And they'll drop everything okay. and take care of this baby. Yeah, that procedure seems right. And that one, too. <laughs> AT&T provides edge-to-edge -edge intelligence. It can do so much for your business, the list goes on and on. That's the power of AND. And when your patient's tests come back, you can January 21st is Squirrel Appreciation Day. But squirrels aren't the only ones saving for the future. That's why AARP dedicates today to you. Yeah, you. From planning and budgeting to getting a deal on your next trip, AARP is here to help you take on today. So, Darren, you're with the UPS store? Yeah. We actually printed these invites. Wow. I thought you guys just did shipping. No, no. We do printing, packing, shredding, notarizing, mailboxing, faxing, binding, taping, laminating, copying, consulting, creating, designing, returning, and, of course, shipping. Cool. Nice costume. It's my work uniform. Where are you going? Go to the UPS store for everything your small business needs. And, of course, shipping. Hey guys, today we're here to talk about trucks. I love trucks. What the heck is that? Well, what truck brand comes from the family of the most dependable, longest lasting full-size pickups on the road? I think it's the Chevy. Ford. Is it Ford? Oh. No, it's not Ford. I think it's Ram. Is it Ram? It's not no. Ram. That's it's Chevy. Chevy. That's right. From the family of the most dependable, longest lasting full-size pickups on the road. Gorgeous. Chevy hit it out of the ballpark with these. It all started that one family night in Dumfries, Virginia. 
Family night is for everybody. It's a time for families to do crafts together. The kids just love going to Chick-fil-A for dinner. Being the single mom and getting everybody ready, it was tough. We would get there a little bit late, like on the tail end of it. Helen saw that I was having trouble getting them to Chick-fil-A for the family night on time and actually got it extended another hour. Noticing things like that, I never really told her how much she affected me, but she did. Love you. <laughs> Move. Yeah. We have probably uh, committed resources from more than a dozen states coming far as Michigan, Illinois, Ohio, and as far west as Oklahoma, uh, Louisiana, and Texas, and then all surrounding states coming in to help us. We have probably more than uh, 2,000 committed outside resources, plus with our 1,100 employees and our 330 contractors on, on our system already, we have over 4,000 uh, workers planning to help us out, restore power, and we, we're going to be getting more as well. All right, crews from all over having to head to the Gulf Coast to prepare for the storm and, of course, the aftermath. Uh, that will be one of the biggest problems with Hurricane Michael, with the power going out likely here. Utility companies will have their work cut out for them because the panhandle has so many trees. When Hurricane Hermine hit the area about two years ago, some 75,000 customers were without power at that time. Remember, Hermine had 80-mile-per-hour winds as it made landfall. This one, we're talking 140, possibly increasing before it makes to landfall later today. Here are the latest stats for you. The next advisory coming out at 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 Central. Right now the winds are 140 miles per hour. We've been watching the pressure come down. Now at 937 millibars, when the pressure goes down, the winds respond and go up. So we do have a strengthening storm. Unfortunately, it is a Category 4 on the Saffir-Simpson scale, with 5 being the worst. And it is moving still toward the north right now, kind of bobbling a little bit left and right of that. But still, everyone in the panhandle hopefully has evacuated from the coastline, um, and we're going to talk more about all the aspects, all the hazards of this storm system. And of course, we do have not only a hurricane warning, uh, but now a tornado watch in effect for portions of the Florida panhandle as well. Let's head back out to Steph now in Port St. Joe. Okay, so let's talk about how dangerous this hurricane is. It is a category four. Remember, the Saffir Simpson scale goes cat one the weakest to cat five the strongest. To be a cat five, we're talking winds over 155 miles an hour. This is a category four. Winds right now at 140 miles an hour, potentially at 145 miles an hour. We've never had a category four make landfall in this area. In fact, in October, we've only had four category fours make landfall. The last one back in 1954. So this is historic. So tropical storm force winds, hurricane force winds. Hurricane force winds right now extend out about 45 miles from the center. Tropical storm force winds extend out almost 200 miles from the center. So this is not just a coastal thing. This is an inland thing as well. Many of us will be affected by this. You see the radar bringing in, by the way, a lot of lightning right around the center of circulation, around that eye wall. That means that you have a lot of convection. It is very strong when you get that lightning popping like that. Winds, the highest gust we've had so far on land, Apalachicola at 40 miles an hour. But once this gets closer, we think landfall between, let's say, 1 and 4 p.m., that's when it is going to be howling. You cannot get out of the house. It's going to go inland. Atlanta, we're going to get rain from this. Uh, it could be a tropical storm all the way over through Georgia and the Carolinas until it gets into the Atlantic. And once it does, it will then turn what we call extra tropical. It just is not completely warm core. It's not warm throughout. Um, you know, lightning also, not something you always see, but you see warnings stretching anywhere from Alabama over into the Carolinas. And I want to talk about Jim, uh, to Jim, I should say, not only about the surge, but the lightning, Jim, with this. You know, because hurricanes are warm core, meaning warm from the surface all the way up, you typically don't get a ton of lightning with hurricanes. But I just think that the lightning around the eye wall shows the power and the strength of this system. A lot of times you see it in those bands coming around, Jim, but right around the eye wall, really, really intense. Steph, you know, it's been kind of an incredible journey just to kind of read the National Hurricane Center uh, forecast discussions. And yesterday they were talking about how uh, they had never seen, you know, the kind of temperature readings that they were getting in the core of this thing, uh, like minus, minus 88 degrees Celsius. So this is a very dynamic storm. Uh, all sorts of studies point to when you have lightning in that core, the system is intensifying. That's exactly what happened. This is almost mimicking Opal in terms of its intensification process. Uh, hopefully, the quicker it winds up, the quicker it winds down.
And hopefully that happens before it makes its way on shore. But that may not happen. And that's what has us very, very concerned. Uh, and there's no forecast for it to weaken before it makes its way to shore. All right. The other problem, of course, is the wind energy with this, the storm surge. Uh, notice the wind gusts themselves aren't incredibly strong. Apalachicola is starting to get into 40 mile per hour gusts. Uh, Messina's telling me, yeah, there's got to be a few areas now on the coast, 40, 45 miles per hour. And the surge is coming up as well. Now, look at this Apalachicola, 3.7 feet. All right. What you've got there is already the sixth highest storm surge on record for Apalachicola. And they could go up another nine feet. All right, that's the problem. So you're talking about all sorts of issues there. Uh, St. Mark's, uh, really, really, you know, place like St. George Island could be literally what? Mexico Beach, all those homes right on the beach. Wow. So the storm comes in again uh, sometime this afternoon, potentially early afternoon if it accelerates, but it will not stop its impacts. With worsening weather patterns, an aging vulnerable power grid, and the growing risk of cyber terrorism, power outages are a part of life now. That can be stressful because we depend on power more than ever. When the power goes out, we lose everything. We can't even charge our smartphones. Now more than ever, you need a Generac automatic home standby generator. With prices starting at just $19.99, you can afford to always have the power you need. With Generac, power stays on in your house, even if you're not at home. I know that when the power goes out, that Generac is going to kick on and I'm going to have power powering my whole house. If it's out for 15 minutes or four days, we're going to be okay. We have control over what happens in our lives now. Generac gives us that peace of mind because it is our power grid. Call or go online to schedule your free in-home assessment. Generac has more than 5,000 dealers nationwide that will help you select a home standby generator that will meet your needs and fit within your budget. They'll discuss installation and provide you with a comprehensive estimate. It's a totally free assessment with no obligation to buy. Generac's automatic home standby generators start at just $19.99. Special financing is available with affordable monthly payments. Plus, with the Generac mobile link, you can check on your generator anytime from anywhere in the world. With the highest quality construction, exceptional dependability, and state-of-the-art technology, it's easy to see why Generac is the number one brand of automatic home standby generators in the world. Call or go online to schedule your free in-home assessment. And if you act right now, you'll receive our seven-year extended limited warranty, a $695 value, absolutely free. Control your power 